A2, Key 2. Published by Cambridge University Press and Cambridge Assessment English, 2020. This recording is copyright. Test 1. There are five parts to the test. You will hear each piece twice. We will now stop for a moment before we start the test. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. One. What temperature will the woman use to cook the cake? I'm going to put the cake in the cooker now. The temperature's at 140 degrees. Is that enough? That's a bit low. I think 180 is better. Why don't I put it in at 160? Because I think 180 is too hot. All right. I hope it's good. Now listen again. I'm going to put the cake in the cooker now. The temperature's at 140 degrees. Is that enough? That's a bit low. I think 180 is better. Why don't I put it in at 160? Because I think 180 is too hot. All right. I hope it's good. Two. What did Clara hurt when she played tennis? Hi, Clara. Do you want to play tennis? Sorry. I played yesterday and I hurt myself, so I can't play today. Your foot again. You had problems with that last week as well. No, I hit my leg with my racket when I was playing. My arms are stronger than I think. I hope you feel better soon. Now listen again. Hi, Clara. Do you want to play tennis? Sorry. I played yesterday and I hurt myself, so I can't play today. Your foot again. You had problems with that last week as well. No, I hit my leg with my racket when I was playing. My arms are stronger than I think. I hope you feel better soon. Three. Which photo did the man take? These photos are great. Thanks. But they're not all mine. Just the one of the flowers. I'm choosing one to put on the wall in my new apartment. I like the boat picture best. Oh, I prefer the one of the birds. Yes, it's nice. I've tried to take photos of birds before but I wasn't quick enough. Now listen again. These photos are great. Thanks, but they're not all mine. Just the one of the flowers. I'm choosing one to put on the wall in my new apartment. I like the boat picture best. Oh, I prefer the one of the birds. Yes, it's nice. I've tried to take photos of birds before, but I wasn't quick enough. Four. Which was the woman's favourite present? Wow, you got lots of birthday presents. Yes, I'm lucky. Mum usually gets me a book because I love reading. But not this time, because the one I really like isn't available yet. OK, but that jumper looks nice. It is, 
but I'm not sure about the colour. Anyway, this bag from my sister's the perfect size. Just what I wanted. Now listen again. Wow, you got lots of birthday presents. Yes, I'm lucky. Mum usually gets me a book because I love reading. But not this time, because the one I really like isn't available yet. OK, but that jumper looks nice. It is, but I'm not sure about the colour. Anyway, this bag from my sister's the perfect size. Just what I wanted. Five. What did Tom lose? Hi, Tom. You look sad. Yes. I can't find my mobile. I took it to Mark's party last night. I thought it was in my bag with my wallet when I left, but it wasn't. Is this it? <laughs> it was under my jacket when I was leaving. I thought it might be yours. Wow. Thank you. Now listen again. Hi, Tom. You look sad. Yes. I can't find my mobile. I took it to Mark's party last night. I thought it was in my bag with my wallet when I left, but it wasn't. Is this it? <laughs> it was under my jacket when I was leaving. I thought it might be yours. Wow. Thank you. That is the end of part one. Now look at part two. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one word, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions 6 to 10 now. You have 10 seconds. You will hear a phone message about going to play a hockey match. Hi Sarah, it's Tom. I just wanted to give you some details about next week's hockey match against a new team called Tigers. We usually play on Tuesday, but we're playing later in the week on Friday. That's when everyone's available next week. We're going to their village for the match. I don't think you've been there before, but it's a good place to play. The village is called Ledbury. That's spelled L-E-D-B-U-R-Y. Write that down because it's not easy to get there and you'll need to find it on a map. Sorry, but there's no bus that goes to the village, so you will need a car. We can go together. Oh, can you pick up some drinks for the match? I've got all the equipment we need and Sally's bringing fruit for after the match. Please don't be late. Meeting at 8pm should give us enough time to practice before we start playing at 8.45. We'll be home before 10. Tired, but happy we won, I hope. See you next week. Now listen again. Hi Sarah, it's Tom. I just wanted to give you some details about next week's hockey match against a new team called Tigers. We usually play on Tuesday, but we're playing later in the week on Friday. That's when everyone's available next week. We're going to their village for the match. I don't think you've been there before, but it's a good place to play. The village is called Ledbury. That's spelled L-E-D-B-U-R-Y. Write that down because it's not easy to get there and you'll need to find it on a map. Sorry, but there's no bus that goes to the village, so you will need a car. We can go together. 
Oh, can you pick up some drinks for the match? I've got all the equipment we need, and Sally's bringing fruit for after the match. Please don't be late. Meeting at 8pm should give us enough time to practice before we start playing at 8.45. We'll be home before 10. Tired, but happy we won, I hope. See you next week. That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 11 to 15 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear Sue talking to her friend Peter about a restaurant she went to. It's a pity you couldn't come to the restaurant with us last night, Peter. Yeah, I wanted to come, Sue, but I wasn't well last week and I forgot I needed to finish some work. How was the restaurant? Great. I'd like to go there more often. The last time I went there was two years ago. The waiter said it's been open for five years already and it's so popular that they had to open a new room a year ago. Oh. What did you eat? The restaurant's famous for pasta, but we all chose pizza, which was delicious. Maybe I'll get the steak next time. It looked good. Isn't the chef from Italy? Actually, he's from the USA. And our waiter was Spanish, so it's a very international place. I have to go there. Come with me. I need you to tell me the best things on the menu. I've only got Wednesday night free next week. But I suppose it's quiet then, so I won't have to book a table. Now listen again. It's a pity you couldn't come to the restaurant with us last night, Peter. Yeah. I wanted to come, Sue, but I wasn't well last week and I forgot I needed to finish some work. How was the restaurant? Great. I'd like to go there more often. The last time I went there was two years ago. The waiter said it's been open for five years already and it's so popular that they had to open a new room a year ago. Oh. What did you eat? The restaurant's famous for pasta, but we all chose pizza, which was delicious. Maybe I'll get the steak next time. It looked good. Isn't the chef from Italy? Actually, he's from the USA. And our waiter was Spanish, so it's a very international place. I have to go there. Come with me. I need you to tell me the best things on the menu. I've only got Wednesday night free next week. But I suppose it's quiet then, so I won't have to book a table. That is the end of part three. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Sixteen. You will hear a man and a woman talking about going shopping. What will they buy? Are you ready to go into town? Yes. 
Do you want to try on the coat that you saw last week? I'd rather go another day. I'd like to go to the bookshop. There's a book I want. Great. I'll come with you to get the financial magazine I like. Shall we pick up a pizza for dinner? Hmm. I'll cook instead. Now listen again. Are you ready to go into town? Yes. Do you want to try on the coat that you saw last week? I'd rather go another day. I'd like to go to the bookshop. There's a book I want. Great. I'll come with you to get the financial magazine I like. Shall we pick up a pizza for dinner? Hmm. I'll cook instead. Seventeen. You will hear a woman leaving a message for a friend. Why is the woman phoning her friend? Hi, Stephanie. I was going to come round to your place this afternoon. I've got that book I agreed to lend you, but guess what? My car's not working, so I'll have to wait for it to be repaired this afternoon. I'm going to the theatre after dinner tonight, so we'll have to meet another time. I hope that's okay. Sorry. Now listen again. Hi, Stephanie. I was going to come round to your place this afternoon. I've got that book I agreed to lend you, but guess what? My car's not working. So I'll have to wait for it to be repaired this afternoon. I'm going to the theatre after dinner tonight, so we'll have to meet another time. I hope that's okay. Sorry. Eighteen. You will hear a man telling his sister about meeting someone yesterday. Who did he see in town? Did you have fun in town? I only went for a newspaper. But do you remember Michael? The man you live next door to? Not that Michael, the one who was in my class when I was a kid. We were best mates. He was in the shop, and we had a good chat. He's got an amazing job as a pilot. Cool. Now listen again. Did you have fun in town? I only went for a newspaper. But do you remember Michael, the man you live next door to? Not that Michael, the one who was in my class when I was a kid. We were best mates. He was in the shop, and we had a good chat. He's got an amazing job as a pilot. Cool. Nineteen. You will hear two friends making plans for the day. Where do they decide to go? Oh, what a hot day for a picnic! Shall we go to the woods? It'll be cooler under the trees. Can't we go someplace where we can go swimming too? Oh, but remember, I'm not a good swimmer. I don't feel safe in the river. How about the seaside? It's not dangerous there, and we can watch people sailing. Oh, okay. Now listen again. Oh, what a hot day for a picnic! Shall we go to the woods? It'll be cooler under the trees. Can't we go someplace where we can go swimming too? Oh, but remember. I'm not a good swimmer. I don't feel safe in the river. How about the seaside? It's not dangerous there, and we can watch people sailing. Oh, okay. Twenty. You will hear a city tour guide giving a talk. 
Why is the museum closed now? This is the National Museum. I'm afraid we won't be able to go inside today, which is a pity because it's just been painted and looks lovely. You'll notice some roads are closed too. That's because an important visitor's arriving today. The Queen. She's here on holiday and is having a private tour of the museum. So we can't go in. Now listen again. This is the National Museum. I'm afraid we won't be able to go inside today, which is a pity because it's just been painted and looks lovely. You'll notice some roads are closed too. That's because an important visitor's arriving today. The Queen. She's here on holiday and is having a private tour of the museum. So we can't go in. That is the end of part four. Now look at part five. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 21 to 25 now. You have 15 seconds. You will hear Susan talking to a friend about the sports she does. Which sport does she do with each person now? You do so many different sports, Susan, with so many different people. You and your cousin Elias play golf together, don't you? Yes, we did last year, but now we play volleyball together. And with your neighbour, Daniel, you play tennis, don't you? Oh, Daniel hurt his arm and can't play tennis anymore, so we go fishing together instead. And your friend Amira, does she like sport? Yes, we've started going to the pool every week, but she's not sure she likes it. She'd like to join a badminton club soon. What about Kelly? When she's not playing football, we go skateboarding in the park together. Do you do any sport with your brother, Ryan? Yeah, he plays a lot of golf and sometimes I go too. He's teaching me. Maybe in the future I'll teach him to be a better swimmer. <laughs> you should. And I saw you going somewhere with Valerie yesterday. Were you carrying tennis rackets? <laughs> they were too small to be tennis rackets. You saw us with badminton rackets. We're having lessons at the sports centre. I love it! Now listen again. You do so many different sports, Susan, with so many different people. You and your cousin Elias play golf together, don't you? Yes, we did last year, but now we play volleyball together. And with your neighbour, Daniel, you play tennis, don't you? Oh, Daniel hurt his arm and can't play tennis anymore, so we go fishing together instead. And your friend Amira, does she like sport? Yes, we've started going to the pool every week. But she's not sure she likes it. She'd like to join a badminton club soon. What about Kelly? When she's not playing football, we go skateboarding in the park together. Do you do any sport with your brother, Ryan? Yeah, he plays a lot of golf and sometimes I go too. He's teaching me. Maybe in the future... I'll teach him to be a better swimmer. <laughs> you should. 
and I saw you going somewhere with Valerie yesterday. Were you carrying tennis rackets? <laughs> They were too small to be tennis rackets. You saw us with badminton rackets. We're having lessons at the sports centre. I love it. That is the end of part five. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet.
You have one more minute. That is the end of the test.